Hi, I'm John Eater, Director of Product Management for Leviton's Commercial and Industrial Products. In this tutorial, I'll be demonstrating the proper assembly techniques for Leviton's single pole 16 and 18 series connectors. Our 16 and 18 series connectors are rated for applications requiring up to 600 volts and 400 amps. Contacts are available in single or double set screw or crimp tube termination. A complete connector includes a male or female contact, an insulating sleeve, a thermoplastic captivating screw, a strain relief wire, and for set screw termination, set screw or screws and a copper shim. To assemble these connectors, you will need the following tools. Cable stripper, razor cutting blade, wire cutter, flat blade screwdriver, come along tool, pliers, 5 16th inch hex key for set screw termination, or a crimping press for crimp tube termination. Optional, Leviton spray lube, a ruler, sharpie or similar. The contacts are sized to match a broad range of cable sizes number 6 to 4 aught. Be sure to select the proper connector for the cable size you will be using. Just a few notes before we start. To avoid fire, shock, or death, verify that there is no power to the cable before assembling. These connectors are for use with copper conductors only. The specified maximum ampacities are based on the contact ratings. The actual maximum ampacity is dependent on the cable being used. The assembly procedure is the same for both male and female connectors. In this video, I will be demonstrating the assembly for a 16 series male connector, showing both double set screw and crimp tube termination contacts. First, I'll prepare the insulator sleeve. I will need to trim back the end of the sleeve to properly fit the cable diameter I am using. It should be snug to prevent debris and moisture from entering the connector. You'll notice there are markings that indicate the approximate trim location for various cable diameters. In this case, I'm using a number one cable. I will measure the diameter of the cable. This cable measures a half of an inch in diameter. You'll see that diameter indicates I should trim here, but we'll want to actually go to the next smaller trim location and try that first. For this particular cable size, we will start without trimming anything because with a number one cable, the next smaller size is not a trim size. It is the end of the sleeve. To make installation easier, I'll use Leviton Spray Lube to coat the inside of the insulator sleeve and the cable end. Now I'll slide the cable into the sleeve to see if the fit is correct. If the fit is too tight, trim appropriately. Next, I'll prepare the cable end for assembly. I will strip approximately 1 and 7 16 inch of the outer jacket from the cable end. For set screw termination contacts, wrap one or two copper shims around the exposed wire. This will help prevent the strands from separating or getting damaged. Next, wrap the center of the strain relief wire around the cable jacket between 3 8 and 1 half of an inch from the end of the jacket and tighten by twisting with pliers. Bend the wire so that it rests flat against the shim, making sure to squeeze the twisted portion tightly against the cable jacket to ensure that it will clear the locking ring inside the insulator. Cut the ends of the strain relief wire flush with the front end of the cable. Now insert the exposed cable all the way into the contact. For set screw termination, be sure to orient the strain relief wire opposite the set screw holes. Using the 5 16th inch hex key, tighten the socket head set screws. Ensure they are firmly secure and flush with the outside diameter of the contact. Slide the sleeve over the contact until the screw port in the sleeve is aligned with the threaded screw hole in the contact. 
Once the screw hole and the contact and sleeve are aligned, insert the thermoplastic captivating screw and tighten to 16 inch pounds using a flat blade screwdriver. The assembly is now complete. Now we will show how to assemble the crimp tube termination. For crimp tube terminations, you do not need to wrap the exposed wire. Next, wrap the center of the strain relief wire around the cable jacket between 3 8 and a half of an inch from the end of the jacket and tighten by twisting with pliers. Bend the wire so that it rests flat against the exposed conductors, making sure to squeeze the twisted portion tightly against the cable jacket to ensure that you will clear the locking ring inside the insulator. Cut the ends of the strain relief wire flush with the front end of the cable. Insert the exposed cable all the way into the contact and crimp the termination using the appropriate crimping press. Slide the sleeve over the contact until the screw port in the sleeve is aligned with the threaded screw hole in the contact. Once the screw hole in the contact and the sleeve are aligned, insert the thermoplastic captivating screw and tighten to 16 inch pounds using a flat blade screwdriver. The assembly is now complete. Now wasn't that easy? For more information about the 16 and 18 series single pole connector product line, visit us on the web at www.leviton.com or contact your local Leviton distributor.